September Mascot Madness is right around the corner. It tips off on September 4th over on twitch.tv slash Rex. You still have time to go over to challenge.com slash sept. That's S-E-P-T. That's in the abbreviation for September Mascot Madness. And you can fill out your bracket there. If you watched last week's episode, you saw the fifth best game of the March Mascot Madness tournament. And you watched Duke edge out Florida in the Elite Eight. This week, we have the number four matchup for you, which features the third place game between LSU and Louisville. Please enjoy. It's the only two teams who starts with who start with L. As far as the mascot games are concerned, uh, we're going to Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. This is for third place. I'm kind of just give us something to watch. It also evens out the number of games to 64. So. LSU gets the ball first. Takes that three. So we get to watch Louisville in back-to-back -back games. We get to watch them in three games today. We get to watch Alabama in three games. We have to watch Duke in three games. And we get to watch LSU in three games. Defensive foul will send Louisville to the line. Yes, indeed. We get to watch them compete for the title. Shot up and good. So it's 3-2 LSU. Move with that full court press. LSU doing a good job of... Just kidding. I was going to say they were doing a good job of passing out of it, but then they uh, stepped back across the line, but they stole the inbound pass, and they're off on the fast break. Shot is up and good, so it doesn't really hurt them. 5-2. Maybe actually even got an easier shot, considering that they were on a fast break. Another foul. That's the second on LSU already. First one's good. 5-3. Second one no good, but the tip in no good. So 5-3 to three here. Timeout LSU for some weird reason. We I have never seen a timeout this early in this game before. Nine minutes and 16 seconds left in the first... <laughs> What the hell was that? Unless you took a timeout and then immediately threw the ball away and then threw the ball away again and committed another foul. They have three team fouls. It's now eight to five. Here comes LSU's full court press. And rip it down the court. Nice quick inside move. 8 7. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. Like, LSU's coach took a timeout. They're like, we have to, we need to reset. We need to, you know, get our get our players all on the same page and get all that stuff figured out. And they immediately throw it away. Twice. <laughs> How was that a defensive foul? He jumped right into him. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. There'll be another one. Could do like a could do like a shorter one. I don't know. I have some ideas for how I want to do the how I want to do the next one. So Louisville with a lead eight to seven. LSU got out to a pretty quick start. It was five to two at one point, and LSU has since gone on a six to two run. Nice block. Louisville almost didn't get that. Uh... Well, thank you, Ashley. Thank you for participating. I appreciate it. Thank you, your, your uh... thank you, Debbie and Ryan and Alex and Liam for all submitting brackets as well. Um, it was a lot of fun. I think it's great. I'm looking forward to doing 
Another one that got tipped around the rim, but no good. Pass inside. Up, oh, no good. That surprisingly wasn't a foul. Man, the LSU had a couple shots at it but couldn't convert. 8 7. Nice steal. LSU down one. See if they can break through. What was that? That didn't make any sense. So a three-point Louisville lead. Bit of a rocky start for the LSU Tigers. Did you see all of the, all of them call for the ball? Hey, throw it to me. I don't know if that's on camera. Hey, hey. Let's do this. Let's move it over here. Hey, throw the ball over to me. Hey, hey. Hello, I'm a ragtime gal. Anyhow. LSU, oh, they got blocked on the outside. We saw Louisville be successful with that against Ohio, but not so much as successful against Alabama with those perimeter shot blocks. Looks like they're getting back in to find their rhythm against LSU. The Tigers, who lost to Duke in the semifinals, looking to secure a bronze medal. Oh, good. I'm glad she had fun. I'm glad that she's excited for the next one. I hope other people are as well. Hopefully, hopefully some new people come in and, and fill out brackets as well. Louisville now on a 12-2 scoring run. Now they're up 7 with a football score of 14-7. to seven. But, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll do another one. I have a bunch of other stuff that... I'm going to play and do on stream. It starts with uh, Thursday. Creative countdown to Yoshi's Crafted World. Boy, I can't wait to set that up. No, it's going to be a lot of fun. Really excited to do. We're doing um, we're doing perler beads. We're going to make little perler bead Yoshis and Poochies. That's going to be very fun. LSU, oh, we had it. He, that jump took all his momentum away, but it still results in a dunk. LSU, 16-11, Louisville. That was a very confusing way to say that. So hopefully you're excited for the stream on Thursdays. Going back to that creative countdown, which is actually what the streams started as. Um... <clears throat> back with Creative Countdown to the Lego Movie 2 video game, which was more of a kind of a last minute, like proof of concept sort of thing. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it. My original, the original idea was to do Creative Countdown to Yoshi's Crafted World, but I wasn't exactly sure how it would work. Um, so being able to come up with another idea that was a little bit simpler from a um what would you call it from like a, a put together perspective like with perler beads we have to worry about doing the patterns and making sure we have like the irons and all that stuff like that's a lot of things to collect which is probably not um but doing just like hey here are some lego sets and that's what we're going to do for the stream um makes it easier as a proof of concept sort of thing that um, then all I have to worry about is the technical aspects of it so making sure that 
I have the capture card and making sure that the camera's set up correctly and that the audio gets fixed and more on the technical side instead of on the actual crafting side. So, looking forward to it. I got to figure out how we're going to get it set up. So, it's going to be going to be kind of complicated. But the cool thing is I now have two monitors so we don't have to have the chat way out of the way. We're going to have it just next to the other one. Louisville ran a lot of time off that clock. They're up 22 to 11. And I think my monitor... Hang on. Number 30 with a huge jam. That looks a little better. Did I get the beads ordered? Um... If I told you yes, I would be lying to you on stream. No. If you... If you send me a link, I can I should be able to place an order for them tomorrow and they should be here in time for the stream. Um, or you can go to like Joanne or something and see what they have. Oops. Be right back, guys. I gotta order some perler beads. Honestly, I could just turn up the audio. <laughs> I could, I could turn up the audio on this game. Let the um, commentary that's created for the game do it, and then just uh, order the perler beads on stream. Um, if you're going to be up in like an hour, less than actually, uh, probably like if you'll be up in an hour, 45 minutes or an hour, I can just, I can call you and we can get that sorted out. And then um, on Thursday, we'll get Perler Beads sorted out. Because you were looking at the, we were looking at Glow in the Dark Perler Beads, but they, the way they come is um, all mixed in. We need to find something that has a little more organization to it because I don't think people are going to want to watch Perler Beat Organization. And we'll probably try and get that as set up as possible on uh, Wednesday night. And I have, um, I have patterns to look at the poochie might be a little bit tricky because it's not it's not the poochie pups it's the poochie like regular poochie but it's just the finished perler bead product it's not an actual pattern the other the yoshi patterns i found are actual like on a grid patterns but it shouldn't be too hard to figure out that'll be okay cool i'll give you a call after this is done and we will get that all sorted out. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for it. If you had to guess how long... By the way, the score is 24 to 17 um, at halftime. Louisville is up. They're looking at a third place finish defensive foul. I feel like we've heard that before. What? That would make great, great ASMR. I don't have the right microphone for it. I also don't have the quiet for it. Hey, we're going to look at some Perler beads. Is that good ASMR? Um, how long would you anticipate that creating that stuff would take? Because I don't want to have too much time like front end or back end between between the game. Because it was kind of a guess on how long it would take the because, like, ideally I want to play the game, like, right at 9. I think I'm going to actually order this one digitally. Because I don't... I don't know if I want to walk up and do all that, but... We'll give it... We'll get it figured out. Very excited. Hopefully, if you're watching in the chat, hanging out, hopefully you're excited to see that as well. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. 
Yoshi's Crafted World is probably my fav most anticipated game of the year at this point. Yoshi's Crafted World, and then as soon as Bus Simulator comes out for consoles. Oh, man. As soon as Bus Simulator comes out for consoles, you can just throw anything else out the window. This is a strictly um, mascot tournament and Bus Simulator channel. But I know what you're thinking. You're like, Sean, why don't you just play Bus Simulator on the computer? Well, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just put it in a console and have it work. Because I don't want to update my drivers. I don't want to, you know... I don't want to mess up that game, that cool game, TurboTax. You know what I mean? PC game is for dorks. Plus, you know, achievements and trophies. But Steam achievements, Steam achievements suck. Let's get more caffeinated, huh? This, this game's gone so off the rails. I've spent more time talking about Perler beans. <laughs> Very excited about it, though. Tune in on Thursday. About 6? Oops, sorry. Oh, Ashley. <clears throat> Have you seen the big... Update that's coming out for Sea of Thieves. I guess they're putting a bunch of stuff in. Comes out towards the end of April. Which would be a good time to kind of maybe jump back in that game and play it together. I didn't look terribly deep into it, but... Hopefully... Hopefully... Did you enjoy that ASMR? Hang on. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I guess that's not ASMR talk. Um, yeah, there's a big old update for Sea of Thieves coming out later in April. I haven't played that game in a very long time. Honestly, like, the, the stuff that they've added hasn't been super intriguing to me because my least favorite part of that game is combat, and that seems to be a lot of the stuff that they've kind of tweaked and worked with. Um... Because even, like, one of them was, like, uh, one of the updates they put in, like, uh, AI-controlled ships. And it's like, I don't want to do that. Like, I just want to run, I just want to sail around and collect treasure. Like, that's all I want to do. I don't want to do that. Anyway. Could be kind of cool. Would be, um, really interesting to jump back into that game. I know they have, like, the Kraken and... I think maybe the Megalodon or something. Oh, stripped away. By the way, we have a two-point game here. All of a sudden. LSU has made a big comeback. While distracted Sean talks about Sea of Thieves and Perler Beads. LSU looking for the tie on this one. They can take the lead if they're the Mad Cats we suspect them to be. It might be copyright infringement for saying Mad Cats. I forgot they were a company. I was trying to do like a parody of Mad Lads, but apply it to the Tigers. Um, and then um, I forgot. Ooh, can't throw that away. Oh, there's also a new achievement on Minecraft. For like the, I don't think it will take me too long. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so do you think? Because we're each gonna make at least two, maybe three. Um, do you think two hours would be too much or too little? Because if we don't start till 7, then we can try and run it up right until 9 when the game releases. If it's too little, we can always try and start closer to like 6 or 6.30. I'm very excited. 
I've been sitting on this perler bit idea for months. Thirty-one twenty-seven, LSU got a lot of contact. No foul though. <laughs> Louisville corner three, no good. Defensive rebound by LSU. Four and a half minutes remaining. We're crowning a bronze, bronze medal winner. Third place. Nice inside pass, two point game. This is a very low scoring game, by the way. 31 29 over halfway through the second half. Louisville responds with a two of their own. It's 33-29. LSU, that was a weird play. I mean, he had the run. He had a clear run to the basket. It's just odd to see someone face the basket, turn around to throw it up, hoping for like an alley-oop scenario. So 33-31, under four to go. Here, third place match. Championship match is coming up next. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's going to be all done. All done. I wish I had like a sweet like one shining moment montage. Yeah, I'd like to try it too. Um, it's I think it, I want to say it's like April 30th is when that Sea of Thieves update comes out. And I think it would be really cool to jump in together and see because we played a lot of that game um well, a lot of that game together i feel like we have a good grasp of what it was when we played it and it'd be cool to talk about the differences and maybe even do some gameplay stuff with it pardon me god this game fuel i gotta stop drinking game fuel on stream by the way it's 33 33 two and a half to go I'll see if I can find you a good uh, good link for it. That way you can read about it. There was something about fishing involved. I remember. Some other stuff. I don't know. Front end, no good. Louisville, or I'm sorry, LSU gets the ball back and immediately gets fouled. Oh, Ellis, you can't convert. They're looking for that lead. They're looking for the win. They're looking for that bronze medal. Louisville, that guy almost stepped out of bounds. Ellis, you doing great things on the defensive end. I feel like I'm hitting my S's really hard today. Shot is up and good, so it's 38-33. Two minutes left here. And a nice shot goes down to cut the lead down to two. 147. That's if you're Louisville, that's what you're looking for. An errant pass down the court. He had it. They just threw it a little bit too high and a little bit too hot for the the guy down the court. Oh, and they stole it away. It was a five point LSU lead and now it's all gone. Oh, God, don't let this go to overtime. Shot up and no good. Shot 
Shot no good. Timeout LSU. It looked like it went through the basket, but didn't count, um, obviously, because they rebounded it, and it's a tie game. So 38 all. That's a dangerous pass right back to the baseline, considering that his foot may have actually been on it. Don't go back across the court. That's a terrible way to lose a game. And it looked like an errant pass. You got a guy wide open in the corner. Oh, you had him wide open in the corner. Blocked on the... Oh, no. Louisville. Timeout. 39.7 seconds left. Boy, if I was commentating this game, I'd actually know what the hell is going on. You want to guess, you guys want to talk more about Perler Beats and see if Thieves updates? Hmm? Tipped out of bounds. Louisville ball. 26 seconds on the shot clock. We're in tie game. So there's a four second shot to game clock differential. Let's see what Louisville has. Looks like they're kind of locked at an animation there. Gets it inside. Up over the LSU defender. They'll take a timeout. There's under 10 seconds to go. 8.7 down to the LSU Tigers. Louisville sticking with what works. LSU smartly gets it way up the court. They're going to have to kind of jack up a deep three for the win. No! Louisville is going to take the third place game. LSU lost their final two games in this tournament in not a great way. Having leads, having opportunities, and they just couldn't get the job done. So, we'll report the score. It was 38 to 40. Louisville was the winner, so there's our third place. Well, that was a fantastic finish. With that win, Louisville took third place, and they'll look to improve upon that when they start on day three against Memphis. And with that loss, LSU fell to four and two. They'll look to finish stronger, tipping off on day one against Marquette. It'll be a pretty long shot if both of these teams can meet up again. They'll either meet in the third place game again or the finals because they're on opposite sides of the bracket. Where do you think LSU and Louisville are going to finish? Do you think they'll match up in the third place match? Do you think they'll match up in the finals? I don't know. Uh, you have to tell me. Let me know down in the comments below or you can head over to challenge.com. That's C-H-A-L-L-O-N-G-E.com slash sept, S-E-P-T, mascot madness. And you can fill out a bracket and tell me every single one of your predictions and you can participate when it takes tips off on September 4th on twitch.tv slash Rex. We'll see you next week as we continue our countdown of the five best March Mascot Madness games.